Hello Internet, I'm gonna kind of just jump right into this. Metro Exodus uh, seems to be having some issues with AMD cards in particular. I know across all platforms apparently people are experiencing a lot of crashing issues. Um, I couldn't really find any information specifically on AMD um, issues and like how to fix it so I'm gonna just kind of put together a quick thing here of how I was able to uh, get it working for me. Uh, first off, uh, go to amd.com and make sure you have the correct most up-to-date drivers. They just released one on the 14th of February, five days ago, that apparently addresses some of the issues uh, that was having of Metro amongst some other the newer games that's come out recently. Um, so once you do this, uh, you're going to download this, install it. You're going to have a little um, configuration thing like this um, that you'll uh, get to. What you want to do is go over to the gaming section and go to global settings. And your settings are going to be a little bit different from what mine are, but just take a look, go for each of these menus and make sure you mock exactly what I have. This setup has worked for me. I've had about five or six hour game sessions, no problem, before I was crashing every 20, 30 minutes. Uh, so this particular setup has worked for me. I think the biggest factors here is shader catch. Essentially creates a localized version of all the shaders and for whatever reason this makes a big ass difference in consistency. Uh, so make sure you have this um, to the optimize option. Tessellation mode I also found seems to be a pretty big factor. Um, make this override and then you want to get this turned off. Otherwise, it will continue to be on. I think tessellation is something more of an NVIDIA thing. I don't think it's really an AMD thing. Might be misquoting that, but anyways. Um, just mock the rest of these settings. Uh, make sure you also have a frame target rate so your computer doesn't try to generate 3,000 frames in this game and cook itself out. That might be contributing to some of the issues. Uh, Metro does not have a built-in frame controller to my knowledge. So just make sure you have this set so that it'll control to some extent. Um, once you got this set up, I'm gonna jump into the game and show you some game settings to be aware of. That'll uh, help with this. All right, we are here. Um, resolution, I don't think it makes too much of a difference unless you have a 4K setup, then justice accordingly. Uh, I try to keep it around 1080 though, uh, for keep it working good. The quality settings, I was having luck of it running on high and ultra without much uh, issue, but just for good reason, I just keep it on low. V-Sync, I always keep that up. Motion blur, keep it on low. Direct X is a big one, make sure it keeps on 11. 12 has some issues that have not been quite resolved yet. Uh, that's my knowledge, so to stick around to 11, it's a lot more consistent. Hair works doesn't really matter. Uh, advanced physics, this is an NVIDIA card setting. Make sure you turn this off and don't ever click this button. It's not meant for AMD cards. Tessellation, uh, we already turned it off in the previous settings, but we're going to make sure you turn it off here just for, you know, to make sure. Uh, texture filtering, I don't think this makes too much of a difference either, but you know, between 4 and 16, you know, pick your poison. And then, shading rate, keep us at 1. Anything less will make it like shit. And anything more will make your car work extra hard. Um, so you can tweak around this a little bit if you want, but um, this is the settings I found that it worked for me. I couldn't really find much else in the internet, so hopefully this uh, works for you, or gets you in the right direction. If you find any way that you know helps you out, uh, just put a comment in the bottom just to help other people out. There's not much information on AMD cards right now as of the 19th of February. I'm sure it'd be appreciated. Uh, well, good luck to you and take care.